I just chewed a sandy foot. Hello, everyone. Prince of the Bear here, and we're back at Old Key West Resort, which technically should be my home resort as I was born in Key West, but we're gonna let that pass. It's your number one choice in foodie infotainment. Olivia's is here, and we haven't been to Olivia's in far too long. Nope, so remember, I'm vegan, he's not. So we're gonna go and get some food. Be sure to enjoy all of the foods. You heard the girl. So a bourbon berry lemonade, that, that's definitely something that I would order. I think I am rubbing off on Princess all the best ways. She's picking up none of my terrible traits, only the good ones. <laughs> Let me been hanging out for too long. Or my game, whatever. That is so good. I am so jealous. What I ordered, you have to just take it. You can't even wait. She knew I was going to try to keep it. That was why she took it back. That is excellent. That is nearing smoked turkey level. If it was a little bit more bourbon, a little less sweet, it would be perfect. I prefer my lemonades more on the tart side than the sweet side, and that's more on the sweet side. It's more like bourbon and sweet tea. Almost. I would give it 4.75 out of 5 bucks. Here we have the turtle crawl. Oh, festive looking drink of not water. Uh, this got Parrot Bay coconut rum, uh, Sailor Jerry spiced rum, and then all the juices the princess would hate. Pineapple being one of those. Go ahead and just dive right in. Is it a turtle that's gonna make me crawl? Who knows? This was like one of those fruit fruit drinks they would give you on like a basic Floridian bar crawl. Floridian bar, not a true Floridian bar, not a Florida man bar crawl, but a, I'm visiting Florida for the weekend for a bar crawl. It might as well be a Capri Sun. I would give it two out of five plus. I have the most beautiful array of colors on the vegan gluten-free allergy bread I think I've had in a minute. We got a few because I mean, Bear's here too. It's already lukewarm. I don't think Chef Mike was involved very much in this. And then I got the biggest piece of earth balance I think I've ever received, which I'm not mad at because this bread always needs help. I mean, just eat. Oh my gosh, okay. See, you have to put extra butter, otherwise you're gonna, you're gonna just dense yourself. It's chewy. I wish it was a little more warm. Chef Mike needs a little more assistance in this one. We got like a two out of five breads. It, this is not bread I'm gonna tell anybody about. I'm ashamed of this bread. I'm gonna say it above a whisper that if you told me that this thing sucked the Titanic, I would believe you. As for these rolls with horns, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna cheat. I'm, I'm just gonna bite it and hope for the worst. Well, the best, but I, we already know. If you've been here long enough, you know our feelings on the gluten free vegan rolls. You can get these rolls at almost any table service restaurant. If you really want them, I suggest you make sure that you get them hot. If you get them anything other than like piping hot, you're gonna have a bad time. 
imagine you just chewed a sandy flip flop. That's about what that tastes like. <laughs> 0.5 out of 5 points. Only because I can't spit it. So here we have the pineapple coconut bread. Something else I thought it really is. Should be on the menu. Yes, in most places you don't have the tam bread on the menu, but people that come to this menu love pineapple coconut bread. You can get a similar sort of bread, a pull apart bread at Ohana. People knew they could get it here, they might come here more. This is the same sort of style, it's like a loaf, and literally just pulls apart. It's nice and warm and soft. Got that little like floury texture on top. Super hot on the inside. With some, looks like plain butter. Whip the butter. The tiniest little bit. I'm behaving on the dairy, like I like I was asked by the community. I'm trying to keep it away. And given the strong smell of coconut that I got when I sat this down, I thought this was gonna be rather terrible. If you're asking me, actually this is better than the Ohana coconut pineapple bread. It's nice and soft. The, both, both the pineapple and coconut flavors are subtle, but there, so they enhance it, don't overpower the actual bread bread. I think even if, they made a vegan version of this. The princess actually wouldn't hate this. I would give it three and a half out of five. Bucks. So Olivia is here at Old Cuba to serve up the off-menu delights tonight. Uh, there's a lot of things weirdly that aren't on the menu. Soup of the day, not on the menu. They have a pork chop, not on the menu. Some of the food has mango on it, and then the allergy menu, it's not on the menu. Weird, but I can live with it. If it's good. Well, this is a chicken tortilla soup. You can smell the uh, Mexican inspired spicings, and supposedly there's jalapeno in here as well. Supposedly it's also spicy. I will be the judge of that. It's definitely hot, temperature wise. That is about as spicy as a Florina winner. It's just hot soup, <laughs> like temperature-wise too. There's no spice, there's no kick. It's barely, barely chicken tortilla, like a little bit of like basically taco seasoned chicken, some tortillas, tomatoes. I see little bits of jalapeno in here. It's not doing it. I would give this soup two out of five plus. It's definitely not an improvement on chicken tortilla. curry. I just want to give a, a, a little shout out to Chef Steven who actually created this dish and we got to have it before it was actually on the menu. He created this dish and then he moved on to the Wilderness Lodge where he created that amazing mac and cheese dish that we all love from Territory. So props to Chef Steven for many non-alt meat dishes. Even though there is an alt meat in the mac and cheese you can still get it without. So. This looks a little bit different than the curry that we've had in the past here, so I'm kind of excited for this. Unfortunately, Bear cannot have this because there is mango in it, and he's allergic. So, cheers to a curry. The flavors are mixed together really well. You don't taste the mango. The coconut is really light. The tofu is seared perfectly. Not as perfect as I've had at breakfast in Olivia's because the tofu breakfast like top tier. This is really good. More flavorful than I expected it to be. And usually like when I get a curry when I go out, it's typically bland. This one is not as bland. I wouldn't say that it's better than a curry that you could get at like Sana or Tusker or Tiffin's. But I would say maybe it's like number five of the best curries on Disney World property. I'm gonna give it a four out of five curry it's pretty tasty for what it is, and it's definitely leveled up from the last time that we had this curry. See, this marks one of those times where I've actually said that I can't eat the princess's food because I love curry. I have literally worn the princess out from cooking curry at home to the point where like, she's sick of Indian curry, Jamaican curry, 
all Thai the curry. Thai curry, Japanese curries. I love curry in all of its forms. But I'm not risking the biscuit for mango. I'll play with the milk and end up in the bathroom the whole night. I do not want to end up in the hospital with some mango. Here we are with another one of their off-menu dishes here. This is their catch of the day. Well, it's actually on the menu, so. The catch of the day is a blackened mahi-mahi on a bed of Parmesan grits and fried Brussels sprouts. Um, mahi-mahi size is acceptable. This fork, however, is not. I don't know what this is. It's like a princess size fork. Whatever, I'm gonna use it no matter what. I think my fork is bigger than yours. It is. Let's go ahead and try the mahi by itself first. Mahi is one of my favorite fishes. If you mess this up, whatever comes in our mouth after that is on you. Well enough blackened. It is nice and flaky, not overcooked, not undercooked. Use a stronger seasoning. It's just blackened. There's nothing else in there. There's no like blackened Cajun, no like hefty amounts of garlic. It is just blackened fish. Let's go ahead and try it all in. As I'm sure it was meant to be tried. We'll get some of this gar uh, Parmesan grits. Let's get some of these fried Brussels sprouts, which feels more like Brussels leaves than Brussels sprouts. That didn't make it any better. Fried Brussels sprouts, really just fried. I'm really tasting more charred than anything. The Parmesan grits are like, they're not creamy. They're kind of like clumpy. You can see like coming up in like, That is, that's not great. Maybe skip the catch a day, catch another flight. One and a half to five plus. With my last bit, I forgot about the pickled peppers. I'm gonna take my last bit of fish, and a pickled pepper, and more grits. Which we decided is polenta. The rating stays, and that's nothing. I took my camera bag off for this, so you know I took my camera bag off for a video outro. Somebody is getting the smoke. That is the absolute worst mahi-mahi I have ever had. It's just pepper on fish, no other flavors, grits. clumpy grits. Like, it was more like Play-Doh than grits. I can't even call that polenta. It was just like white stuff on a plate. And then I think I had like two whole Brussels sprouts and it was just leaves. Why? And my tofu was more tofu than you would get from like some of the other restaurants that give you tofu. Like if you go to Flying Fish, for example, you get maybe a fourth of a tofu. This was maybe like a half of a tofu chopped up into blocks. So I appreciated the amount of tofu that I got, but everything else was just like, once I ate the tofu, I was done. I will tell you that there are restaurants in Walt Disney World and even Universal and theme parks where Getting your reservation isn't hard, but it's still a worthy restaurant to go to. When you go and you see reservations open for this restaurant, there's a reason. I'm gonna leave it at that. But as your number one choice in foodie infotainment, is there anything else you'd like to see us do? Or for any reason you think I was wrong, you're more than happy to be wrong with me in the comments below. Hit that notification bell if you wanna see other videos like this, and we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, wow. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. And if you don't comment or subscribe or like or do one of those things or all of those things, Bear might eat himself into Olivia's and never eat at any other restaurant on Disney World property. And then where are all your food reviews going to go? She's right, you know. But at least give it up for the cloak. Best thing of the night. You heard the girl. <laughs>